Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So a new celebration is starting on Global and at this point, most of you already know the drill. So let's jump right in. Now, I am going to try to blast through this as quickly as possible because I do have to watch game three of Raptors Warriors in about 30 minutes. And you guys already know who I'm rooting for. Let's go Raptors. So let's do this. All right. So the new campaign is called Get Up and Grow Super Growth Campaign. Enjoy Dokkan battle with energetic boys and girls. A little weird, but okay. Get up and grow, super growth campaign. All right, a series of various events are available. New SSR Goku Youth, that's the Int Kid Goku, by the way, will appear in the Dokkan Festival. Um, can not only strengthen characters from two categories with his powerful leader skill, but can also release his active skill after Dokkan Awakening. All right, perfect. Um, in addition to luxurious login bonuses, new Dokkan event, Extreme Z Battle, and Extreme Z Dokkan Festival will also be available. Dope. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, number one is the login bonus. Pretty standard. Get some stones, get some Hercule statues, get some training items, all that good stuff. Number two is some growth missions or daily missions, time limited missions. Number three is a dragon stone sale. Nothing too crazy here. Just a 32 stone pack for over 50% off once only, unfortunately, and 91 stone packs for 20% off your standard 91 pack three times for that one. So I'm sure they're saving their major, you know, big discounts for the four year anniversary. Um, the 32 stone pack is still pretty nice, but you know, nothing too exciting overall. Number four, we have the Dokkan Festival for the new Int Kid Goku. And of course, there's also the Tech Roshi and the STR Demon King Piccolo. Both of them are awesome, by the way. So there's the banner. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan to summon for this guy still. Um, I personally feel like I might do a multi or two if I'm like, you know, feeling lucky. But for the most part, I would recommend most people to skip it because we do have the four year anniversary right around the corner in about a month at this point. And, um, you want to have as many stones as possible for that. So if you guys haven't watched my video from yesterday, the short, you know, the too long didn't watch version is don't summon, save your stones. All right, number five is a youth category summon. You guys know how I feel about these banners, but there is Bula here who is absolutely insane as a support unit, but still she is available on every banner as an unfeatured. So I wouldn't recommend anybody to go in necessarily for just her. I, actually, this pan is really good too. She's an insane tank and uh, this go tanks is still you know, okay, but not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Number six, new Dokkan event for the Kid Goku. Number seven, eight, and nine are the story events for the LR Goku and Arale. If you guys haven't done that yet, if you were lazy in the past, then you still got a chance to do it, I guess. Um, wait, I thought they were literally still here. Hold on. I think they're still here, aren't they? Anyways, doesn't matter. They're going to be available for longer now. Um, number 10 is the Little Ranger event where you can get the uh, Trunks, Goten, and Marin uh, card. And they're okay. They're actually not bad. They get weaker as the fight goes on, but when they first start out, they get a 100% attack boost, I believe. Something like that. I don't remember exactly, but decent free-to-play card if you guys want to farm them. Uh, number 11 is the Tech Bulma. I almost said Bula again. Tech Bulma event. And uh, she's actually a pretty solid tank, especially for, um, you know, those prime battle events where you can only bring drop units. She's actually very good for those. And uh, just overall a solid unit, really solid unit. Okay, number 12 is the Magical Girl event. You can get all the medals you need to awaken the waifu cards, the AGL Mai, the Int Fidel, Tech 18, and so on and so forth. Number 13, a little bit of a spoiler alert for the next thing, but we do have an Extreme Z Dokkan Festival along with the, you know, Kai packs or um, Pilaf Trove packs where you can buy these tickets for the banner. Not worth it, guys. Don't do it. My boy Scott, Scott Herman, Oh the Hermanity, he always buys these packs, but he's a crazy person. Don't do it. It's not worth it. But um, overall, these banners, I guess, aren't terrible if you want to go for like a specific unit because they always only have three featured units, I'm pretty sure. And Go Tanks, of course, is one of them. Int Kid Boo is one of them. And I'm not sure what the third one is. I forgot what JP got, but either way. Not bad if you want the actual featured units, but you know, if you're not too crazy about them, then I would say a skip. And again, don't buy these packs, it's not worth it. All right, here's a big thing number 15 is the new EZA on Global. And uh, as a lot of people were speculating, it's gonna be Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks as opposed to Int Janemba. I know I talked about in my previous video earlier today, actually, that I thought Int Janemba was gonna be first, just going by the order that JP got them, but a lot of people did bring up to me that. 
Um, apparently, the weakness for this Extreme Z battle, which I didn't even think about when I was making the video, is going to be the youth category, which is led by Int Kid Goku, right? So it would make a lot of sense for them to drop Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Extreme Z Awakening first, Extreme Z Battle first before Int Janemba for that reason. And uh, yeah, you guys were right. So that's my bad, guys. I mean, in the video, I said it's either or, but I thought it was going to be more likely in Janemba, so I was wrong. I apologize. I make mistakes. So forgive me, please. So <laughs> we do have the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Extreme Z Awakening. Either way, it's more free to play stones. If you guys want it in Janemba, I'm sure he's going to be next. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But um, we are getting the Gotenks first, and he is still an absolute monster. I'm still excited to get him done. Of course, I have him rainbowed, so stay tuned for some showcases and also a stream for the Extreme Z battle as well. And, uh, you know, that's awesome. It's, it's still dope. I'm still happy about it, for sure, for sure. All right, number 16 is the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event. It's going to be available the entire time for the celebration, which makes a lot of sense. Um, number 17 is the return of the Bojack and Gohan event. I believe you can get... Actually, hold on. Did they update this event for... Okay, so I can't say for sure, but I think there's a chance that this might be the updated version of the story where we get the SR Gohan drop, who can also Dokkan Awaken and has some pretty dope super attack animations as well. Don't take my word for it because I'm not too sure. I would have to go into the story and check, but... Um... It could be, it could be, and that's pretty exciting. So, maybe get hyped? I'm not really sure. Anyways, we got that event coming back. Number 18 is the Ghostly Prank uh, Ghost Tanks event, and he's actually pretty useful in some situations as well. We need a stunner or a healer. I believe he also heals a bit as well, so make sure you farm him out if you haven't already done so. And number 19 is success rates in training doubled. And I'm actually surprised there's no sale in the Baba Shop. I mean, I don't think anybody really cares, but generally speaking, there's like some kind of like Baba Shop 30% off sale or something like that too, right? Okay, so no Baba Shop sale. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry to disappoint, but that is going to be the celebration here. And I'm pretty hyped, man, about the Gotenks. Um, obviously, in Kid Goku is going to be a skip for most people, but if you guys are summoning, then let me know in the comments down below. I want to know how many stones you're planning to spend, how crazy you are, and uh, I wish you the best of luck, of course. And aside from that, I mean, nothing else, honestly, that gets me going, but hey, it's not a bad celebration overall. And let's go over to the login bonus here and see what's going on here. All right, so one stone today, and it looks like it's just going to be one stone per day for the entire celebration, up to 15 dragon stones. Okay, cool. And we got some keys along the way, we got some sleepy guys, you know, your standard support items, training items. Okay, cool. And also... There's the missions, which I heard were a little bit lackluster, like I said. Oh, we can get up to 25 stones. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, so it's going to be... Also, the time limit mission is going to be 10 stones. That's what I heard from before. And then it's going to be one stone per day for 15 days for a total of 15 there for a total of 25 stones over the course of the celebration, which I guess could be worse. All right, so there you go, guys. Those are all the events. Sorry, I need to go back now. These are all the events for the new Get Up and Go Super Growth campaign. We can have some fun with some energetic boys and girls. This is, uh, again, a little bit weird, but it's okay. It's all good. We just don't have to go there, right? All right, so that's going to do it for today's video, guys. That's all the news I have for you. Let me know in the comments down below which part of the celebration you're the most hyped for. Definitely Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotex for me because I'm either not going to summon for Ink Kid Goku or I might do like one or two multis, like I said. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking awesome. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like to see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And as always, or also, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Now I'm going to go watch my Raptors, hopefully beat the Warriors, go up 2-1 in the series, and... Uh, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are freaking awesome. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.